a woman living in the late 19th century, had just learned the news of her husband's death. What would she possibly have felt? Kate Shopins, the story of an hour might give you some clues. Hi, my name is Feng Cha, and today I will talk about my new favorite book, The Story of an Hour, and why I think you should read it. The Story of an Hour is a short story written by Kate Shopin in April 1894. The cast of this story includes only five characters. Louise Mallard, the protagonist who suffer heart problems. Brantley Mallard, her husband. Josephine, Louise's sister. Richard, a family friend, and the doctor. The story follows Louise Mallard as she dealt with the news that her husband, Brantley, had died in a train accident. Knowing Louise's health condition, Josephine attempted to inform her of the horrific news in a gentle way. Louise reacted with immediate grief and headed to her room where she gradually came to the realization that she was happy that her husband had died and she now could live freely for herself. However, her joy did not last long as another shocking news arrived. The story of an hour explores the themes of freedom, repression, and marriage. If you enjoy this theme or the work of other classic American women authors such as Virginia Woolf or Edith Wharton, you should definitely check out this book. What I first noticed when reading this book is its brevity and compactness. I love when an author in so few pages can capture readers' imagination and create a story that is interesting, well-written, and with a good twist thrown in for good measure. In my opinion, Kate Shopins has succeeded in delivering emotional highs and lows in this story. The story of an hour, as its name suggests, focuses on a single hour of a character's life, yet the conflict is extremely intense and the character is deeply sympathetic. Louise's emotional progress was so vividly described, especially when she learned of her new freedom. I can almost imagine Louise's mouth twitching up to a smile when reading this line from the book. Free, body and soul, free, she kept whispering. Another reason why I love this book is how progressive it is, given its time of publication. You see, the story of an hour wasn't considered a feminist book for no reason, featuring a female protagonist who feels liberation at the news of her husband's death. The story was controversial by American standards when it first published in the 1890s, where women were still considered to be their husband's property. Kate Chopin's story highlights the need for a world that respects women as valuable partners in marriage as well as capable individuals. Such need was reflected in how Chopin described Louis's sense of liberation. There will be no one to live for during those coming years. She will live for herself. There will be no powerful will bending her in that blind persistence with which men and women believe they have a right to impose a private will upon a fellow creature. Spanning in just over 1,000 words, the story of an hour can be read in the time it takes to brew a cup of tea. So. If you have a little spare time, you should definitely check out this book. And that's the end of today's podcast. See you next time.